it's a great day for a drive, especially in a 2012 Mazda CX-7 in black. It has black cloth interior, seating for five, four doors, and a hatch. And it has a 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission, and it's a front-wheel drive. It has, as well, air conditioning, satellite radio, and it's really easy to get into this vehicle and take it out on a test drive. You can book that online at islandford.ca. Stay tuned, we're gonna have a look under the hood and inside and out. This is a 2.5 liter, four cylinder engine. It's paired with an automatic transmission and it's a front wheel drive. Let's have a look inside. Speaker in the door, as well as power locks, windows and mirrors. The driver's seat is manually adjusted and you also have your traction control located here. The steering wheel can tilt, and on the face of it, you have your volume, as well as your cruise control, and then you have the information for your dash, as well, you can set your cruise to plus or minus on the right-hand side here, and you can turn that cruise on the left, on or off. We're gonna start up the vehicle. You're gonna see any important messages, your odometer reading, and you can see up top there is your media, and you have AM, FM, as well as satellite radio. You can adjust your rate, your clock, change the time, hazard lights, there's your CD player, and there's your media selections located there. You can load a CD in there. As well, you have your volume and tuner, and then down below is your max AC. As well, you've got your front defrost and your fan, and then you have your front uh, warming area there, and the AC, the regular AC is right there. A little bit of a cubby there as well. You've got a 12 volt automatic shifter and a couple of cup holders. Your armrest opens up and you've got a little bin in here. You can take this out and then you've got another bin in there as well in the back that you can put items. And then you've got room down below and there's a 12 volt in there as well. So lots of places you can put items and you can connect. And then you've got your glove compartment manually dimming rear view mirror there's your lighting controls and there's a grab handle on the passenger side just making it easier to get in inch wheel body color door handle and side view mirror driver's side fuel cap in the back you have your windshield wiper and very easily you have the ability to release that hatch just underneath the mazda logo and down below you can see you have a little trailer hitch as well so we're going to put our hand here and it opens up very easily. Nice and roomy back here, lots of space. You've got hooks and tabs to be able to tether things and underneath you've got your spare tire and your jack. And then when you're ready to close it all up, there's a handle on the right. Simply put your hand in and pull down and it's now securely closed. You then lock everything up and walk away or jump in and head out on your latest adventure. Speaker in the door as well as power windows. There's seating for three in the back with a 60-40 split. And you simply bring the seat down by pushing the button at the back here. And you now have access to the back cargo area. On the back of the seats are anchors to be able to tether baby seats and then just give it a push back into the upright position. In the center is an armrest with a couple of cup holders, carpet mats on the floor and slim pockets on the back of the front seat. Up top, there's hooks, handles, and lights in the back windows with chrome accents, adjustable side view mirrors, halogen headlights, fog lights, and so many more reasons to visit us. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe. We have plenty to share with you, and we love to hear your comments.